excited for today's video because I feel like the time has finally come that we can start decorating. I am an itching to start decorating for Halloween for so long. I have just been like stockpiling for months. Uh, we are hanging out at home again today, of course, and you're gonna hear my little dogs click and clack. They are both down here today and they're both very active and moving around quite a bit. But I am so excited for today's video because I, I've been like dying. I've been like slowly dying, start decorating for Halloween. So this is something very new to me. I definitely decorate for the holidays and I love that and I feel like I do good with that. So I'm excited to start dabbling and probably failing at some things for Halloween and bringing you guys along. I've been trying to find just like really unique pieces and I don't think that these are going to be set and finally done today, but it's going to be a starting point and to kind of see like what we need. I know I'm going to need candy. I know I'm going to need fairy lights. I know there are some things that I'm still needing to order, so I'll bring you guys along in the journey. But yes, let's go ahead and start decorating. I'm just so excited for all the Halloween fun. All right, I'm so excited to jump into this. And the first thing I start off with every single time is not only clearing the area that I'm gonna be working in, which I'm definitely gonna be working in the kitchen today, the most important area, I would say, but I wanna give everything a really good cleaning, make sure like there's no clutter pieces that need to be out. I just want everything to be clean and fresh to start off with. I am going to start decorating first with the tier trays. You're going to see me do one of them, of course, today. I have two that I've been working on, so make sure you're staying tuned for that video. It will be coming out soon, but I want to get everything sorted out. So this tier tray is going to be a nightmare before Christmas tier tray, and I'm so excited. I think we have to do the coffee bar one first, right? That's going to be the most important. And I think with the color story of the mugs and everything that I have picked out, I think we should do the Jack Skellington Oogie Boogie Nightmare Before Christmas in this area. Area. I am gonna tell you though, this tear tray was by far the hardest tear tray that I have ever done. And it is only because of the tear tray that I bought. I bought this one at Target. If you guys saw my haul videos, you saw that I got it. It's challenging, I'm not gonna lie. I would not recommend this. I will go ahead and link some other ones down below for you guys. But what I do is I start by getting everything in that color story, in that family, everything that I wanna use in this tear tray, in this decorating space, I kinda get it all together together I start taking the things out of the packaging that I know are most important and then everything else I kind of wait on this is what I'm talking about things are really hard to get in like certain sizes because of the webbing and the tear trays this I'm not too worried about because I actually broke the lid off so you're gonna see me try things like with the lids without the lids I have a good idea of what I want next to each other and where I want things but man the sizing of this specific tear tray was really hard I do actually use museum wax and that's how I get everything to stay on and not fall off so you won't really see me do that but I do it at the very end once I know everything needs to be placed I put that on the bottom and it does not move I wanted to grab all like the most important things like things that I like for sure wanted to use first I grabbed right away and I was trying to find the right placements for them make sure they're all kind of facing the right direction and I just struggled so hard you're gonna hear me like huff and puff a couple times because it was very challenging not only do I have big things for this tear tray, I also have really small things. So it's almost like one extreme to the next. And for very little placement on here, it was really difficult. It was really, really difficult. Again, would not recommend this tear tray. It was super cute. But for the style of decorating that I like to do, I like to make sure everything is like really full and impactful. And you can see these are not like ginormous mugs. Like that Oogie Boogie mug is pretty big, but honestly, Honestly, he's not that much bigger. I do have some redone mugs that I'm gonna go on here, but yeah, I wanted to try and just get like the most important things on here. And you can see really big to really small. So like Jack, he's so cool. He is a necessity on here. And I kept trying to find the right place, Jack Skellington and Oogie Boogie to be the focal points. And I really was trying to use Sally. I really, really was. I felt like she was an important character in this whole thing, but man, she just doesn't work. That red hair, it just threw everything off and I kept trying and it was not working and then I remember like my dangly leg guy he was so fun and he was all of my colors so I kept noticing that I had like whites and greens and blacks but I didn't have any of the orange and orange I knew was gonna be like a really good pop of color and you can kind of see my thought process here so I want to make sure I'm hitting on all of the colors on each level of the tear tray so I wanted to make sure I had the whites the blacks the oranges and the greens 
I then was trying to like move things around because again, I was just trying to get Jack on there because he's so important. But then it went from like really big on one side to real small on the other side. So honestly, I just keep moving and moving and moving things around, stepping back, taking a break, making a cup of coffee in the meantime, and just trying to regroup and just, again, like going back to the things that are most important and just trying and failing and trying and moving things around. And then as soon as I moved my tower of mugs out of here, I felt like it was kind of coming together. I don't know, something clicked. I think it was just because of it brought in more color so I could kind of re-see my vision again. And then I noticed that I don't really have to have like the most important things on the very top. I just wanted them to be a part of this. When I moved Oogie Boogie down to the very bottom, it kind of helped free up a lot of space. I felt like I was getting somewhere. Everything was starting to fit, but I needed to kind of make this into a tier three tier tray instead of just the two. And I wanted to actually utilize the bottom. And then I could actually have everything fit because that bottom shelf sits up much higher than the other two. So then that freed up a lot of space. So I was able to get everything other than I wanted. You can see me kind of flying through this now because I'm getting everything I want now on the tray. It was a game changer using that bottom. I normally don't, but it was so much better now having basically three shelves for me to put things instead of just the two. I kind of kept taking a look back and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's coming together. It's looking so good. I know it's challenging, but I can keep going. We can keep going with this. And then I took those little potion salt and pepper shakers off and I added those two pumpkins. And I really liked the way that those sat on there and mixing and matching is kind of perfect. Now when I'm filling Oogie Boogie up with stuff, I wanted to put like some picks and sticks in there to kind of like fill out the top and fill up that empty space. So I usually just use some like styrofoam or you know, a Target or Walmart bag, like anything to fill up the bottom. And it actually helps go ahead and hold those picks and sticks inside a little bit better. I ended up just needing the one. I just couldn't get him to stand up straight. And then this, I did the same thing. I filled up the bottom with a Walmart bag and then I got these little pumpkins from the dollar store. So it was a whole big pack for a dollar. And I love the little glittery aspect of it, that little flare. And I just filled up a Ray Dunn mug and put it on top. And then I had the green. Look at how well this is all coming together. I'm so, so loving this, so loving this. And then a little trick too, see if it helps to, you know, flip flop color things, you know, different patterns, and then putting things at different angles. I do think that really helps. And then trying to, like I said, having every color on top of the shelves. And then these napkins, I love having a good napkin because this area is not only like my coffee bar, but it's like where like my plates are, we get dinner ready and everything. So I have everything set, but you guys look at how well this turned out. I love it so much. This is definitely one of my favorite tier trays I've ever done. It was very, very challenging, but it was only because of this tier tray, but I didn't want to go ahead and find another one. I just wanted to stick with what I had and it turned out really great. I'm going to try and link everything down below, but if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor and give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe, turn that notification bell on, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.